warm welcome to all the 10 plus 2 class students welcome to another session of poetry this is once again the poem that we have discussed in the earlier session the fourth number poem from your section b the name of the poem is once upon a time written by gabriel okara i am yogita joshi lecturer in english government senior secondary smart school pani baga district mansa dear students this is the part 2 of this poem in the part 1 we have already discussed complete glossary the text and we have paraphrased the entire text let me remind you once again that this poem was about the artificial modern life gabriel okara has compared the artificiality and hypocrisy of modern life to the real old joyful life now in this session we'll discuss the comprehension question before going into the details of the comprehension questions let me tell you that you will have to prepare two type of comprehension questions for poetry first is the central idea of the poem and you will get a 3 marks question in the exam about central idea and another type of comprehension questions will be asked on the basis of the stanza of the poem and that comprehension part will be of four marks so you will get seven marks question answers from the poetry section that is the section b of your textbook shall we start so here is the first type of comprehension question that is the central idea of the poem this is also a kind of revision that we have done in the first session this poem highlights the fake lifestyle of modern man and the poet is unhappy with this artificial and fake modern life that is why the poet is talking to his son about his frustration of hypocritical modern life he tells his son that people have forgotten how to be real their smiles are not real when they smile only their teeth smile their eyes do not smile the poet also regrets that he has learned to hide his feelings he has also started wearing many faces like all the other people people don't behave authentic people don't behave real they are artificial and hypocritical so the poet laments upon the difference between the real feelings and the behavior that is artificial of modern people all this suffocates him he remembers how he used to smile in a real way and laugh truly but it happened years ago now he has forgotten his real joy with the passage of time he too has learned the dual behavior of modern people he tells his son that modern people have many faces they have a different face at their home while they have a different face for all the other people of the society they express their fake joy and they express their fake love at heart they feel hatred and jealousy sometimes they are irritated but they always wear a portrait like dead smile the poet 
requests his son to help him to learn that old real behavior once again because he misses that joy he wants to feel that joy again he wants to relearn the old real behavior and he wants to unlearn the modern artificial behavior the poet says that he wants to laugh loudly and feel compassionate all over again he wants to unlearn the artificiality so this poem is a beautiful psychological analysis of fake modern life pyare bachcho pichle session de vich assi puri kavita pad chuke ha इस कविता के तीन नंबर का केंद्रीय भाव और चार नंबर के कॉम्प्रीहेंशन क्वेश्चन आने सो इस कविता के केंद्रीय भाव के असी दस रहे हाँ कि किमें कवि गैब्रियल ओकारा अपने बेटे गल करते हुए अजक नकली जीवन पुराने समय के असली जीवन न कंपेयर कर रहा है इस तुलना के नवे जीवन में वजिया नहीं मानता वह कहता है कि आधुनिक मनुख नकली हो चुका है उसका हादसा भी नकली है उसका मिलना भी नकली है उसका हाथ मिला भी नकली है उसका हसना प्यार व्यक्त करना भी नकली है अज का मनुख अपन असल भावनावान छुपा लेंदा है नकली व्यवहार करता रहा है यह चीज़ उत्ते कवि बहुत अफसोस प्रकट कर रहा है क्योंकि वह अपने बेटे अगे मानता है कि उसने भी इस तरह का गलत व्यवहार सीख लिया है यह दूरा व्यवहार करते करते हूँ उसका दम घुटन लगा है वह दोबारा उ अपना पहला वाला सुभा सीखना चाहता है वह दोबारा उस तरह खुशियाँ हासे सचो सच व्यक्त करना चाहता है और दिल में फिर उ सच्चा प्यार महसूस करना चाहता है कवि अपने बेटे को गुजारिश करता है कि बेटा जिमें तू अपनी इस मासूमियत हसदा खेडता है जिमें तेरा व्यवहार बिल्कुल सच्चा सुचा है कृपा करके मैनू भी इस तरह का व्यवहार सिखा दे क्योंकि मैं असली हासा आनंद महसूस किते साल बीत चुके हैं मैं नकली जीवन जिंदे जिंदे थक चुका हाँ सो यह कविता एक बहुत ही खूबसूरत मनोविग्ञानिक सच और तत्थ पेश करती है जिस आधुनिक जीवन में पुराने समय के असल जीवन के नाल तुलनात्मक रूप में देखा जा रहा है मनुखन यह संदेश दिता जा रहा है कि जे वह असल खुशी हासिल करना चाहता है तो उसू एक बार फिर अपना मन निर्मल करना पेगा अपन भावनावान सचिया कर फिर ही उसके सिर्फ दंदा वाली खुशी उसकी अखा तक की खुशी बदल जाएगी आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टुड द कंप्लीट सेंट्रल आइडिया लैट्स मूव ऑन टू एनदर टाइप ऑफ कॉम्प्रीहेंशन क्वेश्चन Dear students read the lines given below and answer the questions that follow first of all let me read the stanza for you then i'll tell you about the four questions on the basis of this stanza let's start and i have learned to to laugh with only my teeth and shake hands without my heart i have also learned to say goodbye when i mean good riddance to say glad to meet you without being glad and to say it has been nice talking to you after being bored students this is one of the stanzas of the poem once upon a time in this stanza the poet is very sad because he is confessing in front of his son that he has also learned the artificial behavior he says goodbye but at heart he says good riddance he says glad to meet you but at heart he is not glad 
He says it has been nice talking to you but actually he felt bored but he is not telling the truth Is stanza de vich bachcho tonu yaad hona kavi apne bete de agge e gal manda hai ke usne vi is tarah de nakli vyavhar nu sikh liya hai Oh lokan nu goodbye kehnda hai jadon ki dil vich sochda hai changa hoya khada chutya ਉਹ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੋਈ ਜਦੋਂ ਕਿ ਦਿਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਉਹ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਚੰਗਾ ਲੱਗਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਅਸਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਬੋਰ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਨਾਉ ਆਨਸਰ ਦ ਫਾਲੋਇੰਗ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਸਪੀਕਰ ਇਨ ਦ ਫੋਮ Question number 2 What has the poet learnt to do with his feelings? Question number 3 What is the meaning of laughing with only my teeth? And the last question is What kind of life is the poet living? Try to answer these questions later on i'll give you the hints for the answers i hope you have written something let's check question number 1 who is the speaker in the poem the answer to this question is the poet is the speaker here playing the role of a father talking to his son pehla prashn hai ke is kavita de vich gal kon kar reha hai bol kon reha hai ta is kavita de vich kavi hi gal kar reha hai ate oh ik pita da role nibha reha hai jo ke apne bete nal gallan kar reha hai second questions what has the poet learned to do with his feelings answer the poet has learned to hide his true feelings and act fake in front of others dusre prashn vich puchya ja reha hai ke kavi ne ki sikh liya hai kavi ne apniyan ਸੱਚੀਆਂ ਭਾਵਨਾਵਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਛੁਪਾਉਣਾ ਸਿੱਖ ਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਨਕਲੀ ਭਾਵਨਾਵਾਂ ਵਿਅਕਤ ਕਰਨਾ ਸਿੱਖ ਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਨੰਬਰ 3 ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਲਾਫਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਓਨਲੀ ਮਾਈ ਟੀਥ ਆਨਸਰ ਇਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਵੈਨ ਅ ਪਰਸਨ ਸਮਾਈਲਸ ਆਰਟੀਫੀਸ਼ੀਅਲੀ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਨਾਈਸ ਟੂ ਅਦਰਸ ਵਾਈਲ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਫੀਲਿੰਗ ਨੈਗੇਟਿਵ ਡੀਪ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ सो so, तीसरा प्रश्न है कि सिर्फ अपने दंदा नाल हसन दा की मतलब है इस दा मतलब है जदों कोई नकली हसदा है हसदा है ता उस दे सिर्फ दंद दिख रहे हन उस दे चेहरे ते जां अखां ते कोई भी असल खुशी नजर नहीं आंदी जदों के मन दे अंदर ओ नकारात्मक ही महसूस कर रहा है सो so, ए हसा नकली है Last question is what kind of life is the poet living answer the poet is living a dual and hypocritical life this life lacks real joy the smiles are artificial all the time such life is suffocating ta akhri prashn hai ਕਵੀ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਜੀ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਕਵੀ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਰੀ ਅਤੇ ਨਕਲੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਜੀ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਵੀ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸਲ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਮੁਸਕਰਾਟਾ ਹਨ ਉਹ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਹੀ ਨਕਲੀ ਹਨ ਤੇ ਹਰ ਸਮੇਂ ਤਸਵੀਰ ਵਰਗੀ ਨਕਲੀ ਮੁਸਕਰਾਹਟ ਰਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਨਾਲ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਦਮ ਕੁੱਟ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਆਈ ਹੋਪ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੂਡ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਸਟਾਂਜ਼ਾ ਐਂਡ 올 ਦ 
question answers now the last stanza you have to read the lines given below and answer the questions that follow but believe me son i want to be what i used to be when i was like you i want to unlearn all these muting things most of all i want to relearn how to love for my love in the mirror shows only my teeth like a snake's bare fangs in this stanza the poet is expressing in front of his son that he really wants to be his old self his old self was real and he was innocent like his son and he want to unlearn these modern lifestyles not only unlearn these things but he wants to relearn how to laugh in a real way the laughter without any artificiality because this artificial smile shows him snake's bare fangs in his face when he watches the mirror is tanza de vich kavi apne bete nu keh reha hai ke main us samay nu bahut yaad karda ha jad main tere varga masoom ate sacha hunda si odo mera hasa vi bilkul sacha hunda si te is sache suche hasse de naal main hamesha hi bahut khush rehnda si par ajj di zindagi da nakli vyavhar sikh ke main har samay dukhi rehnda ha te mera dam kutda hai main dobara sikhna chahunda ha apna ohi hasa kyunki eh nakli hasa sapp de dang varga dikhda hai shishe vich now look at the questions first whom is the poet talking to second what are the things the poet want to unlearn number 3 what does the poet compare his own love to and last question is write the significance of the title once upon a time think about all these questions done it let's move on the first question was who is the poet talking to very easy the poet is talking to his son you're right second question what are the things the poet wants to unlearn he wants to unlearn his artificial behavior he wants to unlearn dual standards third question what does the poet compare his own love to yes your guess is right the poet compares his own laughing teeth to snake's bear fangs the last question write the significance of the title once upon a time the title signifies that once upon a time people used to live a real life now all have a double life सो पहले प्रश्न के पूछा जा रहा है कि कवि किस नाल गल कर रहा है इसका जवाब है कि कवि अपने बेटे नाल गल कर रहा है दूसरे प्रश्न विच पूछा जा रहा है कि वह किड़िया किड़िया चीजा नु भूल जाना चाहता है त कवि अपने नकली व्यवहार नु भूल जाना चाहता है वो चाहता है कि वह एक बार फिर अपना असली व्यवहार ही सीख लवे ते सारिया नवीया चीजा हो भूल जाए तीसरे प्रश्न विच पूछा जा रहा है कि उसने अपने हास्य नु किस दे नाल मिलाया है किस नाल तुलना कीती है अपने हास्य दी 
ਹਾਂਜੀ ਉਸ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਇਸ ਨਕਲੀ ਹਾਸੇ ਦੀ ਤੁਲਨਾ ਸੱਪ ਦੇ ਡੰਗ ਨਾਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਆਖਰੀ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਸਿਰਲੇਖ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਖਾਸ ਗੱਲ ਕਹੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਸਿਰਲੇਖ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹੀ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਸਮਾਂ ਸੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਲੋਕ ਅਸਲ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਜਿਉਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਹੁਣ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਰੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਜਿਉਣਾ ਸਿੱਖ ਲਿਆ ਹੈ so we have done two type of question answers first was the central idea and second were the comprehension questions based on the stanza from your poem whenever you study any poem you have to prepare these two type of question answers it's time for the homework now today your homework is that of a drawing you have to draw a mind map of the central idea based on this session we have discussed the entire central idea on the basis of that you have to prepare the mind map for the mind map you can write the title of the poem in the center while around this you can write all the main points so once again i'll discuss the central idea with you so that you may be able to write the main points in the mind map that we want to prepare so in the central idea first thing you will highlight the fake lifestyle of modern man the second thing you can write is frustration of the poet about the hypocritical modern life the third point can be the poet has forgotten how to smile real the next point is the poet has learned how to hide his feelings next point can be the poet has learned how to wear many faces next point is the poet is not behaving real the next thing is his real feelings are not expressed to the people and he limits upon his artificial behavior next point is all this suffocates him next point can be the poet confesses all this to his son next he wants to learn the real behavior once again next he does not like these fake portrait like smiles next the poet requests his son to help him relearn the old real behavior next the poet wants to unlearn the new artificial behavior the next point can be he wants to laugh loudly and feel compassionate all over again i hope you have noted down all the main points so once again you can have a look at all the things that we have discussed now you have to write all these things in your notebook let's conclude in the form of this thought simplicity is the key to eternal joy dear students in the 21st century the modern life is artificial life the people are running for success for money cars good dresses branded things and clothes and many more other things all this is 
disturbing modern man so this poem gives the message that simple living and high thinking is the real essence of life so simplicity is the key to eternal joy so bachcho is puri kavita de vichu asi ki sikhya ke sadharan jeevan hi sab to vadhiya jeevan hai jadon asi paise piche ja mehange kapdeyan ja kaaran ja shaurat de piche bhajde ha ta asi bahut hi dukh bhariya jeevan jionde ha sanu hamesha hi apne aap naal dusreyan naal sacche rehna chahida hai taaki jadon vi asi vyavhar kariye us de vich ik sachai hove ehi sachai sanu khushi deegi so sadharan jeevan hi khushi di asal kunji hai so keep in mind simplicity is the key to eternal joy thank you so much dear all for being with me have a very nice day